Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about the GATE life sciences. So this is also being denoted by XL. So life sciences exam is being denoted by XL also. So GATE is basically graduate aptitude test in engineering, which is being conducted by IIT Bombay this year. So um, it will be uh, conducted in February of 2021. So uh, you have ample time to prepare for this exam. In this particular video, we will talk about the scope, pattern of the exam, syllabus, recommended books and the preparation tips. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do subscribe to my channel and please share my videos with your friends who are preparing for this similar exam. Okay, so uh, if we talk about the scope of this exam, particularly GATE exam, so it would be helping you to go into IATs, okay, for your PhD or your research work. If you want to join as a GRF and you have a GATE score in your hand, then you would be really uh, easily enter into an IIT. Okay, so if you want to make a career in research, so uh, if you are unable to crack a CSIR uh, net GRF exam, so if you have a GATE score also, then you ha you can uh, get an entry into CSIR labs or CSIR institutes or IITs or uh, several other institutes which will give you good funding for your research. Okay, so this is the first basic thing. Second thing, it looks good in your CV. Okay, if you have a GATE score, GATE qualified uh, uh, tag in your CV, that really means a lot, means you have a knowledge about your subject in a great detail in depth knowledge you have and you would be a good source to impart that knowledge okay so this score means a lot so it looks good in your cv then other thing is that uh, that if you want to uh, get into some good industries like some industries demand for uh, gate qualification if they want if they are giving you a job they will be asking for a gate qualification and if you have a gate qualification then you would be given more importance uh, as compared to those who don't have a gate qualification if you go for an interview for a particular job in industry so gate qualification means a lot over there if you also if you want to go get into a drdo okay drdos also prefer gate score okay so this is all about the scope now we will be talking about the pattern of the exam so pattern of the exam consists of three parts basically. So first part is the general aptitude part. So in that we'll talk about what is the syllabus of general aptitude. Then the second part is the chemistry for the case of life sciences. If you apply for a gate biotechnology, then you would be having mathematics in that. But in life sciences, you have chemistry. Then in the third part, you have Q to U sections. So Q is for biochemistry, R is for botany, S is for microbiology, T is for zoology and U is for food technology. So among these five options, you have to choose any two. Okay, only any two options are to be chosen. And you can do this uh, choosing thing on the time of the exam. Okay, you don't have to choose it before the exam. You can do it during the exam. You can choose whatever uh, or portion you feel free to choose. You uh, feel you can attempt more questions in. So uh, prepare at least three uh, portions and be sure uh, you have a good hold on those three so that you can uh, easily choose any of them. Okay, so that is my strategy that I had followed. So choose any three of the sections and prepare them really very well because you see uh, the portions ha uh, have something similar in them. If you open the syllabus, then you will find that the topics are really very similar. So you can just get the syllabus from the uh, IIT Bombay website or you can just Google the syllabus. I'm not sharing the complete syllabus in this particular video. But if you want me to uh, share uh, the syllabus with you, then you can please mention me in the comment box. Now we'll talk about the pattern of the exam in a little bit more detail. So the exam is of three hours and you have to attempt 15 questions, 10 from the first part, 15 from the chemistry part and uh, there will be 40 questions from the other one other part okay so the third part in which you have to uh, uh, choose two options two sections you have to attempt 20 questions from each section then you have 15 from the chemistry portion and again you have 10 questions from the general aptitude then the negative marking would be now these questions will be divided 
five marks uh, five questions will be of one marks and five questions will be of two marks in the general aptitude and one by three negative marking will be on one marks question and two by three negative marking will be on two marks question and there will be no negative marking in new uh, numerical answer type questions the numerical questions uh, will be having no negative marking so never ever leave a numerical question in the gate exam attempt all the numerical type questions numerical answer type questions so um, even if you uh, attempt a wrong answer you won't be having a negative marking but uh, what who knows that the chance may be that luck is in your favor and you get a correct answer and that would just let you ace in this exam okay so the total marks of this exam is 100 marks the exam would be totally computer based exam online mode would be there so this is all about the pattern of the exam i hope i am clear with the pattern of the exam now we will talk about the syllabus of the general aptitude so 10 questions will be asked in the general aptitude portion five questions will be of one marks and five will be of two marks that would be making 15 marks in total so this is the complete syllabus where will be verbal ability english grammar sentence completion verbal analog uh, analogies word groups instructions critical reasoning and verbal deduction then comes the numerical ability will, which will comprise of numerical computation numerical estimation numerical reasoning and data interpretation so you can just take any book uh, which is having general aptitude questions so you can just download at least 15 papers of general aptitude for gate because this particular portion is similar for all the subjects of the gate exam so you can just uh, get 10 years papers and just go through it you can easily um, ace this part okay so now we'll talk about the chemistry portion so the chemistry portion if you see it is all what we have studied in 11th and 12th chemistry portion chemistry ncrt books so just open the chemistry ncrt books and prepare this portion really very well because you can get good marks from this portion also so if you see the uh, what are the topics particular topics so here it is atomic structure and periodicity structure and bonding spd block elements chemical equilibria electrochemistry reaction kinetics thermodynamics and structural reactivity correlation and organic reaction mechanisms so this is the organic chemistry part so all this thing uh, you have studied in your plus two ncrts so just open those ncrts or whatever notes you have and just go through them to prepare this portion so you would be having 15 questions from this uh, portion of chemistry having five questions will be of 10 uh, uh, five questions will be one mark okay and the other 10 questions will be of two marks okay making it a total of 25 marks then we will talk about the biochemistry portion in the biochemistry portion you would be having um, uh, you can just go through the syllabus if you would be having or you can just google it so you would be having 20 questions which will be of 30 marks okay and there uh, there uh, in this slide i have discussed about some of the books like you can um, read biochemistry by strial or satya narayana and chakrapani essentials of biochemistry you can go through leninger if you want to uh, study biochemistry in detail you can go through leninger then you can uh, study the molecular bi uh, biology of cell which is by bruce elberts then gene cloning and dna analysis by t a brown and principles and techniques of biochemistry uh, which is by wilson and walker so i hope you must be having all these books or you can get the pdf online also so uh, do search for these books and first select the uh, portion you want to study okay just go through the syllabus select the topics go through the previous question papers and see which topics are being asked mostly frequently then find those topics from the books make your notes and then study them thoroughly so this is the strategy that you have to follow through this exam so uh, gate doesn't ask for in-depth detailed knowledge it does want uh, it only wants you to uh, wants to check that you know this particular topic or not like you have lipids lipids as a topic in biochemistry portion so it would be asking what is the chemical constitution of the lipids okay normal this question would be asked no detail uh, lipid mechanism would be asked in great exam okay so just stick to the syllabus and make notes properly 
then we'll talk about botany same as with botany 20 questions 30 marks you can uh, follow uh, ties and ziger book it is a very good one for plant physiology you can go through odom for ecology part gardener for genetics part and if you want a more detailed botany study so you can go through schooly book okay so these are the books that i have discussed you can also go through the books of some indian authors that you must have been uh, have studied in your graduation or post graduation so there are several other good books that might be available in your um, library or somewhere you might be having or you might be having some good notes so go through that and just i would uh, mention again stick to the syllabus what is given in the syllabus only study that and don't don't go in detail just go through the topics once make good notes and keep on revising that is the only key to success through this exam then we will talk about uh, zoology so zoology rl kotpal is the best book okay so just go through kotpal okay then you can go for animal uh, cell culture you can go through fresne these both books are available online if you have a problem in searching these books then just go to your uh, nearby library you will get these books over there also and online these books are available for sure okay then we will talk about microbiology felzar the best book prescott again the best book and then we have a uh, anant narayan book for microbiology that is also a very good one if you want a micro, my, want to study microbiology in a very simple uh, simple uh, manner but i would say just stick to prescott prescott is the best book okay so i have studied prescott so i would just recommend you to study prescott its language is also easy and it will uh, it consists of most of the topics again it will be having 20 questions for 30 marks then comes the food and technology portion it will be also 20 questions and 30 marks and the test uh, uh, some books are there from avantina sharma which is for food science and technology then we have neil morris for food technology other books are also there you can go through whichever you fi uh, feel free first uh, select the topics select the sections you want to study and then uh, you want to attempt which sections you want to go to which sections during the exams uh, select those uh, sections and then study uh, find the books and start studying so uh, for the preparation tips first thing i would say is previous year questions very very important at least 10 years questions are very important go through uh, through these question papers um, see uh, frequently asked questions okay frequently asked questions faqs okay go through those faqs make notes stick through those notes and then start to study write those topics which are being asked very frequently uh, just uh, mark those topics write them somewhere and start studying if you don't find those topics in any of the books just use google search through some research papers if you can or don't go in detail for the research papers but just go through google um, go through standard text textbooks that i have discussed and solve as many previous year questions as you can for both the, uh, all the three parts okay for general aptitude for chemistry and for the section that you use or uh, choosing in the third part so that is the only strategy that you can go and other thing this is not csir exam okay so it won't be asking you in detail knowledge it would be just checking your knowledge that if you have any knowledge for a particular topic okay so just go on the uh, upper surface don't dive deep because you don't have that much time it's already um, october so your exam would be in february okay so uh, prepare in that manner as much time as you can give for your preparation as well as for your revision revision is very much important and stay um, to uh, stick to a particular routine for this particular exam and if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment box prepare well and the other thing that i would uh, like to share you that i would be starting a series of previous year questions on my channel so stay tuned on my channel for further uh, videos that would be aiding you some help for the preparation of this particular exam so i would be starting a series for previous year questions for uh, several sections of your third part like zoology botany microbiology biochemistry first i would be starting a series for previous year questions when i am finished with previous year questions then i would be starting a series where i would be explaining all the topics in detail 
uh, one by one okay i'll pick up one topic then we'll talk about that topic in detail so that you can get all the topics in your syllabus at one place so for that subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends and if you have any queries or if you have any suggestions that you want uh, uh, that i could implement in my videos then please feel free to tell me and stay tuned to my channel for further updates please press the bell icon do subscribe and share my videos thank you very much for watching